In this tutorial, you will learn how to pass command line arguments to your Spring Boot application and also how to read command line arguments. Let's first learn how to read command line arguments in our Spring Boot application. So in your Spring Boot application, open the main application file that contains public static void main function. I will open the only package that I have in my Spring Boot application and will open the main Java file that contains public static void main function. So the main function here, it accepts an array of strings and these are our command line arguments. This is where we are going to read command line arguments from. They are available in our main function as an array of strings. So to read all arguments that are sent to my application, I will simply iterate through this array of strings and will print each element to a console. like this. This should print all command line arguments that are sent to my Spring Boot application. Or if I need to access one specific command line argument, for example, the first one in the list, then I can access it by its array index. For example, to access first element in the array of strings, I will use its zero index. All right, so this is how we can read command line arguments. Now let's learn how to pass command line arguments and see if the code that we have just written works. Now there are two different types of command line arguments that you can send to your application. One type is a custom argument that your application needs to read. And this type of command line argument can be anything. It can be any value or a key value pair that your custom code needs to process. Let's bring in a terminal window and see how it works. So here's my terminal window and I am in the home directory of this current Spring Boot project. If I list files here, I should see pomxml file. Now I will start up my Spring Boot application and I will send it a command line argument. When we send command line arguments to our Spring Boot application, we will need to use a dash d and then spring dash boot dot run dot arguments parameter. And then after the equal sign in double quotes, we can specify the run arguments. For example, if I want to send only one command line argument, I will provide its value right here. For example, my name, Sergey. Let's run it. And now if I scroll a little bit up here, I see that script that prints all command line arguments did work. The value of the only command line argument is printed here. And then I have a code that prints the value of the first element in the array of command line arguments. So that also works. If you want to send more than one command line argument, you will need to separate them with a space. So the second command line argument will go after the space. And let me use my family name, Sergey Kargapolov. Now I have two command line arguments. Let's hit enter. And if I scroll a little bit up, I see that the code that prints all command line arguments now has printed two values. And the code that prints the first argument in the list printed only the first element. So that also worked. The second type of arguments that you might want to send are meant to somehow configure or reconfigure your Spring Boot application. For example, in one of the previous video lessons, I have shown you how to start your Spring Boot application on a different port number and overwrite the port number value that is configured in the application properties file. So let's try that. Let's start our Spring Boot application on a different port number. I will terminate this application. I will repeat this command and the arguments that are meant to configure or reconfigure your Spring Boot application are sent with two dashes at the beginning and then the name of the command line argument or the key of the command line argument equals and then the value of command line argument. And let's start this application on port number 8888. Previously, it used to start on port number 8010 and now we will start it on port 8888. All right, my application has started. I see that the command line argument I have sent did work. My application did start on port 8888. And if I scroll up a little bit, I see that my application was also able to read this command line argument and print it into a console. And the way I have just overridden the port number, I can overwrite 
any configuration property in my Spring Boot application or in the application properties file. For example, let's open up application properties file in this Spring Boot application and have a look at it. I'll go to source main resources, open application properties file. So here my application is configured to log information into a file called log.txt. And this file is going to be located in the home folder of this Spring Boot application. Let's send a command line argument to override this value and to make it log information into a different file name. I will go back to my terminal window, terminate this application. I will repeat this command and this time I will provide a new configuration property. I'll just copy its name, start with two dashes, dash dash, paste the name of command line argument equals and then the value. Let's log it to a different file name, my app log.txt like this and now I'll hit enter if I scroll up a little bit I do see that my application was able to read this command line argument now I will terminate my application and I will list files in this directory previously when I run this application it did log information into log.txt and now it did log information to a new file that it has created that is called my app log txt. All right, that also worked. All right, so this is how we send and this is how we read command line arguments in our Spring Boot application. If this video is helpful to you, please do click on the like button and do subscribe to my channel because there are many new video tutorials coming.